There's a lot of different ways to get data into MeasureQuick. Let me show you some of the ways to do it. So you'll notice first of all that uh, we have all these probes up and running here and I'm just gonna throw my glasses on here so I can see. I've got a combination, I got some field piece probes going down here. I've got Testo in the supply and return duct, a couple Testo manometers going. Uh, Testo for outdoor air, so I've got a little bit of everything going on. I've got all my toolbox. You can see I've got the, the, uh, the job link probes here. If I hit back and go into the Testo probe manager, you can see all the Testo ones that are lit up and running on there and data coming in. So, you know, it's a, a, a lot of different points of data coming into MeasureQuick. Well, on a couple different things here. I, the first button we have there, that's the information button. That's your system ID which is gonna be your model numbers and your serial numbers. And if we hit the check mark here, we can hit our system information, which is where we're gonna uh, put in our profile of our equipment. What tonnage is it? What refrigerant is it? Uh, air flows, sear rating, efficiency evaporator, uh, all those different types of things in there. Now, when we get into the sunshine, the next button over, that's all the measurements that we typically take outdoors here at the condensers. So this is everything I'd expect to take outside. If I click on that the first time, I'll see my suction line, my superheat, my subcooling liquid line, tap on it again, I'll see my outdoor air, my approach, my compression ratio. But in this case, you'll notice I have nothing on here for discharge line at all. Now, if I tap on the big button for outdoor measurements, I can see my low pressure, my high pressure, my suction line temperature coming off of the field piece probes, my outdoor air temperature coming off Testo, and then I have a user input box here. So I had another thermometer, maybe an analog thermometer. I wanted to enter in a, a discharge temperature, let's say 167. It would allow me to do that and hit submit. Now, indoor readings on here, same thing. But I want you to notice there, you know, in this case here, we have a mix of, of the old and the new Tesla probes. And we know that uh, the older Tesla probes didn't have great range. Well, we, we have a solution for that in MeasureQuick. Again, there's a capture button here and a clear button. So if I want to go inside and capture those static pressures and lock those readings in, I can do that on MeasureQuick and hit submit. So each one of these menus has different inputs. Electrical, when I go to the electrical section, this is where I turn on my meter, redfish meter, and I can enter the data in, or I can measure phase to phase or phase to power or whatever I have. Just depends on what I want to do and what kind of meter I have. If I'm using a redfish IDBM 550, all those readings will come in automatically. And then the uh, last button there is the weather, and that allows us to uh, pull in the current environmental conditions, the outdoor air, the relative humidity, atmospheric pressure, elevation, et cetera, which is gonna allow us to um, basically make some air adjustments in the application. Now down at the bottom, there's another sub-menu down below that. If you tap on that, you'll see that that's our uh, trending bar. We can scroll through there and look at low and high pressures, superheat and subcooling, suction line temp, liquid line temp, return air, supply air, temperature split, uh, total capacity and, and sensible capacity, and then back to EER. There's no EER because we don't have electrical data, but that is the trending menu and allows us to see several minutes of data and how it's trending. The next, that's a little plus, it allows us to save our sna snapshot, set our benchmark, restart our trends, and those are the primary menus of MeasureQuick. Down at the bottom, we have another, well, one last one I want to go over here, and this is our education, results, home, project, and toolbox. Now, earlier I showed you how to pair up tools to your toolbox. And the project menu, this is where we'd start a project and uh, you go through, do an air conditioning test or heat pump test. The home menu always takes us back home. The result menu is our results. So I can go in here, and in this case, I haven't done any projects yet, so I don't have any results. I have one quick test here. Uh, actually, no, no quick tests either. So we'll just do a quick project here and continue. And then I'll just do a snapshot of the data and save the snapshot. Now I can view those results share, export as PDF. So here's my basic results. If I want to go back in now and view those in results, now I can see that system snapshot and I can either set that equipment as active or I can reprint those results. So it just allows me to see those there. Education section is our HVAC resources. This is our intro to non-invasive testing, measure quick, system evacuation help, news feeds, testing component information. Uh, all those types of things that you might want to read about a little bit more measure quick or other products we support. So there's quite a bit of menu structure here, but it's really, really easy to use. Once you get used to the navigation, it's going to be no problem.